Oh, give me leave. How does my good lord Hamlet? Well, God of mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent. Well, you are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord. Aye, sir. To be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For if the sun breeds maggots and a dead dog, being a god-kissing carrion, have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing, but not as your daughter may conceive. Friend, look to it. How say you by that, still harping on my daughter? Yet he knew me not at first. He said I was a fishmonger. He is far gone, far gone. And truly in my youth, I suffered much extremity for love. Very near to this. I'll speak to him again. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slanders, sir, for the satirical rogue says here that old men have gray beards, their, that their faces are wrinkled, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, and that they have a plentiful lack of wit, together with the most weak hams. All of which, sir, though I must powerfully and potently believe, yet I hold it not honesty to have it thus set down. For yourself, sir, should be as old as I am, if, like a crab, you could go backward. Though this be madness, yet... There is method in it. Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave. Indeed, that is out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are. A happiness that so often madness hits on. Which reason and sanity could not so prosperously be delivered of? I will not leave him and suddenly contrive by the means of meeting between him and my daughter. My honorable lord, I will most humbly take my leave of you. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will more willingly part with all, except my life. Except my life. Except my life. Fare you well, my lord. These tedious old fools! <laughs>